What's up guys, this is Rick from Mangaholic. Today I'm going to be doing a review of Akira by Katsuhiro Otomo. Uh, I received this box set from Right Stuff uh, almost a week ago and I read all six volumes in four days. That's that's roughly uh, 24 to 2500 pages of manga. Uh, this manga series originally ran from 1982 to 1990. Uh, the box I received was uh, was released. Well, this was this box that was originally released in 2017 uh, in a 35th anniversary uh, box set, and uh, this was recently reprinted by uh, Kodansha. This story is set in Neo Tokyo in the year 2020, years after an atomic bomb went off in Tokyo starting World War III. The main character is a teenager named Kanada who is a leader of one of the many motorcycle gangs in Neo Tokyo. Uh, one day his gang goes out on a bike ride and ends up coming across this kid who's standing in the middle of the road. and He, he looks more like an old man, uh, but he's really just... Uh, a kid who has psychic abilities and is controlled by the government. Um, during their encounter here, uh, one of the other gang members, Tetsuo, gets hurt and gets taken to the hospital. Well, that's what the gang thought, but he really gets taken uh, to a nearby military base, and uh, they then find out that he has some psychic abilities of his own. Uh, that's about as, as far as I'll go into the story here. Uh, I do not want to spoil anything because I know when I read this, my mind was kind of blown and I was not expecting uh, to love this manga as much as I did. Um, so that's, that's about as much of the story as I'm going to tell here. If you're looking for a, a manga with great artwork, Akira is definitely for you. Um, I was not expecting the artwork to be as great as it was, but it was it was unreal. It's definitely in my top five of uh, the manga that I own when it comes to artwork. Usually, uh, I know, especially in my experience, some of the manga that I've seen with the best artwork, it's usually like a samurai or fantasy or, um, or st story, or it's something where they use... Uh, computers uh, to help them along with the artwork as well uh, but this to, to see that in a cyberpunk setting and uh, it was it was really really awesome um, there's a lot of destruction uh, so like I said the story starts off talking about how an atomic bomb went off in Tokyo how the mangaka depicts that in his artwork is unreal and you know, there's planes, there's aircraft carriers, there's all grades of stuff uh, in this manga. Uh, and the artwork is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, the cyberpunk and apocalyptic vibe is something that I really, really loved here. Uh, you know, with the pandemic going on, to see something uh, that uh, is set in the year 2020, uh, I really, really enjoyed it. There is a lot of uh, kids in this manga that have psychic abilities, and uh, I really, really enjoyed that as well. I wish there was a little bit more background on that uh, and how all of that worked, but overall, I'm, I'm happy with with uh, with the story and how much they released on that, that side. Uh, some of the things that I really didn't like about the manga... Uh, was the main character, Kanada. I did like him overall, but when I compared him to the supporting characters, he just seemed a little weak. Uh, he had a, I mean, he's got a strong uh, personality, but that's about it. Uh, I really liked Kai more than I liked Kanada. And, uh, I, well, I feel like I liked other people as well more than I liked him. Uh, but it's still a great, great story. Um, 
Another part that I didn't like about the manga, uh, I mean, there were some parts uh, that objectified women uh, quite a bit, and I didn't didn't like that uh, didn't like that part at all. Uh, other than that, I, I do recommend this manga highly. If I knew what this was about more when I first got, started getting into manga years ago, I would have probably started with. Uh, with this manga and to pick it up sooner. Uh, I'm really thrilled that uh, Kodansha re-released uh, the 35th anniversary box set this year. It's some of the the best uh, quality manga that you can get. They're all hardback. They all have dust jackets. Uh, you get a you get a really nice uh, art book as well, and. Uh, the box itself is really sturdy and hard and uh, you get a little iron-on patch that I'll probably never use. Uh, other than that, I mean, here's the first volume. I will just show uh, one panel starting off. The paper quality is nice and thick. Sometimes you can see through it, uh, but other than that, it's probably one of the best releases of manga that I have in my collection, and I'm so thrilled uh, to have it. Um, for any of you uh, looking to pick up, you know, a cyberpunk futuristic uh, apocalyptic story with great art, uh, look no further. This is definitely something um, that I feel like any manga collector needs. And uh, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't recommend it more. If any of y'all have read Akira and have any recommendations of something that you thought were similar to this, please let me know. I'd be, be happy to check it out. I kind of wish, kind of looking to get into something similar here. Also, for those of you who have read Akira, do you think there's any similarities between Mob and Akira? I see some uh, similarities to uh, the main character here and uh, Akira in this story, the Akira character in the <laughs> Akira manga. I think there's some similarities here. Uh, maybe I'm crazy, but or maybe that's just me, but I, I think there was some motivation here with that. But yeah, that pretty much sums everything up, guys. If you like this video, please smash like or subscribe. I'll definitely be putting out some more videos. Again, if y'all have any recommendations of what I should uh, try to get into next, uh, please let me know. Thanks.